In these problems, we're writing ratios as percentages and trying to do it without a calculator. Um, a ratio is just a fraction, and we have word problems here, so the tricky part is just trying to set up the fraction right in the first place. Let's read this. It says, this year, David watched 80 movies. He thought that 64 of them were very good. Of the movies he watched, what percentage did he think were very good? The, this number, the total number, is the one that's going to go on the bottom. And you can think of this as 64 out of 80 movies total, he thought these were good. So that's how to set up the ratio. Now, we just need to divide because 64 over 80 is the same as 64 divided by 80. And then we'll need to move our decimal point two places to the right to turn it into a percentage because from this division we'll get a decimal and we want eventually a percent. But let's do the division first. So how do I divide 64 by 80? Clearly 80 is bigger than 64. So what I'm going to do is put a decimal point here, add a zero, and then put my decimal point up here. Now let's see, oh, well I know 8 times 8 is 64. So if I put an 8 here, I would multiply it by the zero that would go here, and then multiply by the 8, 8 times 8 is 64. Aha! So that came out perfectly. So 64 divided by 80 is 0.8. Now to get a percent, I move the decimal point one, two places to the right, and since there's an empty spot here, I fill that in with a zero. So this is 80%. Let's try one more like that. So this one says, Abdul spent $12 on fruit at the grocery store. He spent a total of $80 at the store. What percentage of the total did he spend on fruit? So in setting up the ratio, we want the total number, the whole number, on the bottom. That's 80. That's how much he spent at the grocery store. The amount he spent on fruit is going to go on top. So this is 12 out of $80 that he spent on fruit. So there's our ratio. The next step is to do the division. This is 12 divided by 80. Again, 80 is bigger than 12, so I'm going to put a decimal point here and a zero here. Put the decimal point up here. And let's see, what can we get from... Uh, well, two eights would be 16, so I guess I have to go with just one eight here. So one times zero is zero, one times eight is eight. And do our subtraction here. We get 40, and then I'm going to put another zero here. And now we're on this column, and let's see, oh, 5 times 8 is 40. So if I put a 5 here, I get 5 times 0, and then 5 times 8 is 40, and that comes out to nothing, and we're done. So we got a 0.15. It's not our answer yet. We have to move the decimal place 2 to the right, so that would be 15%. So that is a little bit of work with writing a ratio as a percentage.